All right. Uh, I'm in front of you right now. Oh, I thought that might have been people. I saw these <laughs> running all around, but a couple of them were just like, they were just so, like running into a wall. So I was like, is that yeah. a person or what? Are you able to tribe me with this little? I, yeah, yeah. I think he zapped no, oh. me real good. Oh, uh, is it still over there? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's running away. See ya. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ark Extinction, the final DLC, and the one that will tell the story, that will finish the story that this game has been writing of late. For years, we had no true story of what Ark Survival Evolved was. What are those obelisks? What are these implants in our arms? And what are all these dinosaurs doing here? What is the story behind all of this? Well, with Aberration, they began to tell that story, and the idea is that that aberrant Ark opened the gate for us to return to Earth, where hopefully we will be able to restore this broken and shattered planet and create a new paradise, a new home for humanity. That is essentially the story of Ark and of Extinction. So welcome. I, of course, am Unite the Clans, your humble host. And with the first Ark series in a long time, we begin here on a new fantastic sci-fi world. So what do I know, guys? Hello. Don't pretend you don't see me. Okay, well, how about this? Where the hell am I? Who was that person that rode by? Where are you playing, UTC? You playing with those Gaming Evolved guys? Uh, Syntax and his buddies? What about Iron Mine? You with... Oh, hey, hello. Uh, with her old a rally and monkey puzzle? Where, where are you playing this? What, maybe Pooping Evolved? Did those people finally give you a call? Did you get an invite to the big leagues? None of the above, guys. I'm playing at the one and only place that matters. And the place that has kept me going and inspired through one of the toughest summers of my life, the Geeks Patreon server. A couple of years ago, my best bud uh, in the YouTube business, Arali the Geek, and I started a little community where our patrons could play together. And over the last couple of years, that blossomed from something very small and humble into a giant organization of loyal, dedicated, and and loving uh, supporters and even through a summer when i barely made any content and i dealt with a ton of depression most of these people hello stayed right by my side they never went anywhere and we have an active thriving community despite my best efforts to ignore and destroy it over a dreadful summer but i'm back guys and i'm eager to create content i'm eager to fall back in love with arc this might be one of the last chances we get to have a brand new version of Ark to steal our hearts and minds. Um, and so that's it. This will be my series here on the Geeks Patreon server and playing with my patrons. I want to progress through the game on my own. Now, an important thing I would like to mention to you, and let's go ahead and do this, is that I have one sponsor in the world, one organization that supports me Uh at, on a very consistent level, and that is G Portal. Now, this right here is G Portal. I am inside G Portal. This is one of their servers. They are a host, and they have been, just like my patrons, incredibly loyal. Guys, despite a summer with not a lot of content and not a lot of communication from old UTC, uh, so my patrons have stuck by me. I don't know what that is. But anyway, guys, so I have two people, two, two groups I need to thank, and one is my patrons, um kept together by a rally and Dusty and, and a whole bunch of dedication and love over the summer, and G Portal, who has stood by us and they support us by sponsoring this whole community. We don't just have this server, guys. We got a cluster where uh, Ragnarok, the island, sorry, yeah, the island aberration and scorched earth are connected, and those have just been cleaned and wiped and are completely brand new and ready to explore for anybody who hasn't. And then we also have uh, modded servers, we have a primitive server, and we have a Ragnarok server that up until today was the primary hub of action in the home of our patrons. From here on out, though, this will be the place I can only imagine. Did I do it? Does this look like a CC to you guys? Does this look like a community center? I would build one here. This looks great. Around this big tree? No, definitely not. Let's keep looking. So some clothing underway, guys, and I have made my way up, but I mean, not particularly high. This map is almost as vertical, it seems, as Aberration, but 
But instead of necessarily the difficulty being vertical, where with Aberration, when you went way down or way up, the world got incredibly difficult, it looks like this is a vertical world that is safe. I can get to the top of this city, and then the dangers will be outside of it. And that may, may be the main reason to get to the top of the city is to see what's around us. So if I cannot find the community center, and there's a good chance I can't, and I'll be calling a rally to find me, he told me such, uh, that... Uh, that I will just try and make my way to the top over the next minute or two, and I'll find the next ramp upwards. But it seemed crazy to me. I looked at the spawn location. I looked at the uh, my rough coordinates for the CC, and I said to O'Reilly, I'm like, there's no way I'm not going to find this, dude. I'm starting right on top of it. He's like, it's harder than you think navigating these surface streets of this central city. So I'm going to explore some more. If I come across anything fantastic, I will show you guys. If I get up to the next level, I will... Ooh, actually, this is probably how you do it, maybe. Do I climb this tree? No, that looks too difficult. Okay, well, let me work my way up to the next level, guys. I will try not to die of dehydration before I get there. And if I have not found the CC, uh, I will call a rally. He will meet me, and we will make our way to... Ooh. Oh, look at what we have made our way to. Guys, this is the e edge of the city. Oh, gosh. I didn't look at what the CC looks like. If I saw that structure right there, that cage-looking thing from a distance, I'd want to go in that direction paths upwards so what we see out there guys the biomes that exist outside the city are separated from the city by the dangerous wasteland where you find the corrupted dinos and whatnot now uh the other thing is they are protected in a sort of permeable biodome where humans and dinos can pass under that dome and underneath you will be protected but in between this city and that biome is going to be very deadly so that is that is the beginning of exploration is getting yourself to be able to cross those wastelands to see what exists out there. Okay, now I'm going back down. This ain't helping me, guys, and I don't know if I've gone remotely in the right direction. I see drones everywhere. Everywhere. This is a good sign. This means I'm probably getting close to my people. Are these little drones? I wonder if I'll get one of them to see me. But in between there are some creatures I have never seen that look largely deadly. Hello. What are you? You're probably going to kill me. Uh, <laughs> I saw all the drones seem to be coming from this direction. Randomly, maybe they all belong to a group of people. I think you use them to explore, right? Uh, there's another drone. There's another one. So are these random inanimate objects or are these people exploring? And if it, it do, they do belong to people, it feels like I'm getting closer to a central hub of some kind. There's a drone. Are people controlling these? I don't know enough, guys. I'm really just getting started. And yesterday, knowing that I couldn't get in the game due to some tech issues, I kind of tried to avoid the majority of the action. So I would be a noob today. So that this would all be shocking and unknown. Okay, we get a chance to check these out. What is it? And what is it doing? They seem to be glitching out. They might be like an autonomous wild species. I might have gone way off track for no reason at all. I've gone down, and I've gone into the center of the city instead of to the edge, which I intended. I think I'm quite thoroughly lost, but until I've been killed once, I'm, I'm reticent to give up. Let's make our way for a city edge and see what we can see. All right, guys. Well, I certainly have not found the community center or necessarily the edge of... The city. I have found sort of an edge of the city, and I'm going to wander in this way, but we're going to give Arali a call, and we're probably going to die before we get to meet up with him. But I did want to mention the main reasons that I had suggested, or that I had brought up uh, the geeks. Oh, I might have stuck myself here. That I had brought up the geeks. Is this going to kill me? Am I going to be able to get down from this? I think so. Oh, water. Excellent. So the main reason I brought up the geeks in G Portal, number one, if you do need a server, if you need a place to play, if you're going to create your own world, I think G Portal is the best. Um, they're really fantastic. I, I love them so much, guys. They, they have the best service. And if you use the link in the description, you get a discount code and I owe them. I owe them so much for their ongoing loyalty, um, so please check them out. I'm gonna I'm gonna pimp them out in every video I can. And um, as as for playing, as for otherwise, if you're not starting your own server and you want a place to play with friends, this is it. Join the geeks, become a patron of mine or of a rallies, and uh, we'll get you hooked up probably within the day. Uh, so for now, guys, let's do a little leap of faith. I'm gonna hop down here and then we'll reach out to a rally and see what his deal is. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to respawn. Water. 
Yeah, right here. All right, Geronimo. Whoa, cool. Cool, this city is so fantastic. I can't wait to explore. All right, guys, just waiting on Mr. Arali the Geek to join me, and look what I found at the bottom of this pool that we leapt into is a tiny little house. Now, we're doing something new uh, on this server, guys. We are doing uh, tribes. We're not just on one big tribe. We will all be aligned. We're all going to play PvE. We're all still going to be friends, but I won't be a part of every tribe and own every building like I have in the past. So look what I found. The Hurricane. HTC, Skippy. If I was part of his tribe... Ooh, lay on bed. Does this let me fast travel? Just lay. Okay, so I don't think there's anything I can do. Can I get into his inventory? Interesting. I must already be allied? I don't know how that's possible. Okay, well, it is what it is. All right, so I'm not too far off from where we landed, right next to the Hurricane's little cabin, guys. And I've now had the wisdom and the knowledge to break out a map and to mark the CC at 50-55. So that means, or was it 55-50? Well, we'll figure it out. Either way, a rally should be around shortly to guide us here if we, if we fail to do it on our own. But I, I feel confident. We're going we're gonna to find this thing, guys. It's not as hard as it seems, right? Hey, buddy. Hey, man. How are you doing? I'm yeah. good. I just logged in. It is, uh, it's a pretty cool map. It's pretty gorgeous, right? Yeah, it's like uh, it's got all the verticality of uh, of aberration, but it seems like the it's not like you know with aberration as you go higher as you go low it got exceedingly difficult. It seems yeah. like you can just travel high and low, and the exceeding difficulty is outside, right? In those yeah. yep. wastelands in between. So I finally, after twenty minutes of rambling around, marked the CC on my map, and I'm moving generally in its direction. Uh, okay. However, I'm very close to the ground, and I don't know how, what the elevation of the CC is. I don't it know is actually up. up one level, so I'm going to see if I can make like a torch or something, maybe? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Well, night is coming. It is late. I think the sun's going to set. I'm going to tell you, man, it doesn't no seem to get dark. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. This is yeah, the, I was gonna say, <laughs> it's the opposite it's like aberration. The opposite. Yeah, right? It's I the love opposite it. Aberration. I said that yesterday. I was like, this is amazing. All day, every day. Yeah. So All I'm right. gonna make a torch though, and I'll shoot. I'll start heading down that uh, okay. down that way, so I can try All to catch right. it. All right. So I am very close to the dot. I am approaching it from southeast, sort of, and I'm looking up to see bridges above me. Um, and there is a sort of a broken one. Uh, there is one that has a giant glass bottom as well up ahead. You said you're coming from the southeast. More south now. I'm getting there. Uh, I, I'm going to be looking straight north pretty soon. And there's a there's a bridge. Uh, it should be above you if you're only one level up. That's like I all glass. I can't see above me. <laughs> no worries. The, this, this part's kind of tucked in. Uh, okay. I, think I, think Ooh. I have to walk around the corner to get to you. Are you behind like uh, pink danglies? Um, so I see yellow dangly bits. Yellow dangly bits. Okay, well, I got to find a way up primarily, I think. Well, is, I, is I'm going to go to, there's only one way up. Oh, I see purplish pink ones. Uh-huh. Um, there's only uh, kind of one way up uh, the, from the bottom. I'm your purplish, if you look at your purplish pink ones, if you can see outside and above them, is there a bridge that's mostly glass in the middle? Yes. Yeah, okay, see so, a tapahara that's like reddish up there in those uh, pink dangly bits or not? I think so. It's hard for me to tell. I'm So I'm down... Yeah. And directly across from that, the path Sorry, up I, is which way, would you say? There's, so, uh, let me look this way, hold on. The path up is to the south. Um, it is a, like a, it looks like kind of a broken roadway uh, that's like fallen down. Okay. I'm heading that way with some torches. Well, I see a broken one that falls right off into nothingness. I think this is the right one, right? Okay, so yep, I must I keep going the right this one. way. I found the right one. Okay, I'm coming down. I'm going to place a torch and make it as bright as I possibly can. Okay. If I was smart, I would have made a flare gun while I was up there. Uh, I'm not that smart, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, you know what? We'll be able to spot other... We'll be able to use dinosaurs and whatnot. So, to my right, the ground drops off severe. I'm looking up at... I think looking up at the location. So, this well, must I, be the crumbly bridge. Just, I'm going to have to backtrack. Just, I'm quite close to the cliff. It must be... This this is all that I can see, but this bridge doesn't crumble. It doesn't go down until way far away from the city. Oh, you know what? I have a sneaky, sneaky thing I can try. 
Try to get someplace like out on the edge that's super visible. Okay, well, if you if you are where I think you were, and you went slightly to the left, uh, like there's a main bridge that seems to go. Uh, there's a main bridge that seems to go sort of southeast from where I think you are. Uh, that stays roughly at the same level, and I will be under that and to the right. Sort of the cliff that I think you're on. Um, if you if you were to look off of it and then look left, down in that direction is like a, a giant culvert, a giant tube with a waterfall coming out of it. Um, okay. Assuming we're looking at we were looking at the same thing a little while ago. You probably were not, which would be hilarious. There's bridges across a giant chasm. And I see yep. no obvious way to get up it, and and uh, I'm and you're, I'm, but you're at the bottom. Level I'm at I'm at the bottom and on the far side. So between me and where I think you are is a big valley, with uh, some you know weird aberrant stuff sticking out of the walls, and uh, I wonder if you could find that that culvert with the waterfall coming out of it. So the way that I'm doing this is uh, not quite okay. like it's not hundred <laughs> percent legit. No, it's not that. It's that it's, you can't see colors, oh, and I have a range. Okay, so apparently I can't go any it's farther. It's got to be that bridge or that bridge. So, so if you're, you're down where all the like trees and stuff are yep, at, then, huh? Yeah, I'm amongst trees and overlooking a deeper canyon that has a river towards the bottom of it. And that river begins oh, 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 at that oh, big I sewer pipe. I culvert. I yeah. I see that culvert. Okay. So I can see it, and I am closer. I see you. I see you. Yeah? Stop moving. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm coming. I'll show you. Okay, let me get some. <laughs> let me get some. Oh, no, up. no. It's too far ready. away. Okay, um, you're going to need to turn towards... Uh, you want to go away from the water culvert oh. towards the edge of that cliff. So turn around. I think you go the wrong way now, if I can see where I think you are. Right, but I have no... I don't see how to get up from there. Yeah, I don't think you can, but just come this okay. way. Okay, okay. I think... Uh, to your right. Come more to your right. Come towards the big ditch in okay. the center. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Easy. All right, keep going. There's a big tree at the end. You see uh -huh. the big tree to your right. Keep going towards that. And then we'll go straight ahead from there. Like there's a, a little bit that can kind of come out. Okay. Beautiful. All right, keep coming. Keep, go to your follow. Keep going to your right. Oh, yeah. Your, your left. Your left. I'm sorry. Your left. Follow yeah. that pathway on your left. Like keep on the, the, the cliff okay. edge. You got it. Yeah, this is where I thought I spotted you from. And I saw the pink just on the other side of this tower up here. All right. Uh... I'm in front of you right now. Oh, I thought that might have been people. I saw these <laughs> running all around, but a couple of them were just like, they were just so, like running into a wall. So I was like, is that yeah. a person or what? Most of these are actually um, autonomous. Are, uh, autonomous. Yeah, you can make them, which this is the one I made. I have a, I have, I, I'm at the edge of my range right here, though. Okay. Um, so yeah, we are um, up that there. spot right up there where I'm looking now. Smartest That's thing to do is jump off a cliff and respawn. <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you able to tribe me with this little... No. Uh, I think he's actually no, oh. real good. Oh, uh, is it still over there? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's running away. See ya! Okay, so it's coming back for me, it looks like. Oh, ooh, and it, it must... Says I'm... Oh. oh, wow, it went the wrong way. It did, but okay. I wonder if it has to fault... No, air it goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving it again. Okay, okay. I, 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 so pressing E to like try to tribe you disconnected uh -huh. me. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Well, I will... Uh, well, let's just see what happens. I got nothing. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to follow you down. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to go straight off. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? Hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, this should do it. That should end my life. <laughs> I successfully avoided dying so well, though. Okay. Okay. Now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? For the people watching my video, let's call that a video. I'm, I, Raleigh and I are going to be live streaming. I'll edit this up later. That's my first experience. I have a vague idea of where the CC is. We saw new technology. We saw the map. I blabbed a lot about the geeks and how they can join us. I blabbed a lot about G Portal and how much we love them. Other than oh, that, <laughs> other than that, just stay tuned. I'm going to be doing recorded episodes. We'll do some occasional live streams and we'll keep the content coming, guys. Thank you for hanging with me. Raleigh, thank you for finding me. Yes, sir. I will see you in episode two of Extinction. Bye, guys. <laughs>